Which one do you think is the real and the fake? What's up everyone? Tiger Stacker here. This is the third video in detecting fakes. This one is more expensive than some, but not as expensive as the x-ray machine. And of course, we are talking about Sigma Metalytics. This includes a three that came first, including the original, the Pro, and the Pro Mini. How does this work? The Sigma Metalytics verifier works by measuring the resistivity of metals. The resistivity of metals is very different and easy to distinguish, even in small differences and in alloying, such as crown gold of 91.67% with gold and a balance of copper, 90%, which is 90% gold, the rest copper. It is almost impossible to duplicate another coin's resistivity, weight, and size, which is basically revolving around the atomic structure and weight of the elements. But there are some cases that can happen, such as Johnson Sandwich coins have a similar reading to gold. Copper has a similar reading to Britannia silver, about 95.8% silver. Tell uranium copper has a similar rating to 90% silver. There is a much more detailed explanation in the description below. And in the three versions that exist, as per this table, they have many of the similar features with some different distinctions. We will discuss the newest version after we discuss these three versions. The original does not measure completely through the sample. It does not confirm the metal density with specific gravity. It does not have an adjustable sensor bar, and it does not connect to a mobile unit that will detect heavier and bigger metals. The Pro also does not have the adjustable sensitivity bar. It does not detect through larger products. However, Pro does have the ability to detect through larger products through an additional device called the bridge. Here is a depiction of, a, of the bridge connected to the Pro unit. The Pro Mini does not have a bridge, but can go completely through the sample and can confirm the density with specific gravity. Obviously, the original was the first, then followed with the Pro with or without the bridge, and then the Pro Mini. The original does not need any external devices in order to read because this is the only screen you need. And it only reads the surface. You can also use the wands that come with this to determine the surface readings of other metals. It comes in its own case and its own recharger. The Pro readers do not change in height. The sample has to cover or exceed the circle, the bigger circle here or the smaller circle here. And these readers do not change in height, nor can they handle larger products. The advantage is that this is an all-in-one unit and will go through the entire sample. I will show you mine later on in this video. However, you can also get the bridge, which will and can handle larger precious metal samples and will read completely through them. How does the Sigma Metalytics work? It uses electromagnetic waves that penetrate deeply into the coin or bar. The plating and surface features are largely ignored and the main body of the metal is assessed. Many standard metals are stored in the precious metals verifier and can be selected by the user, but it does not cover all metals, which I will show later. The Pro Mini does not have a screen in which to read. It's the smallest of the units. This device here keeps this swing arm down on the metal. This pin right here will keep the bar on top of the metal for it to be read. However, as I said, it does not have its own screen. It has to be linked to devices such as iPads and iPhones. So far of these three, my favorite is the Pro, which comes in its own case you can buy the extra wands. You can also buy the bridge. 
I personally don't have a bridge, which I now regret. But you can always buy it at a later point. However, when you buy extra components such as wands and bridges later, you have to send the unit back to be calibrated for the wands and the bridge, which you may or may not want to be without your device. I'm not a big fan of the Pro Mini, even though it's smaller, because I personally don't like to have to try to have two units relying on each other to be fully charged. What happens if there's a technological issue or error? I'm not a big fan of the original because it only does the surface. The Pro is the most expensive, but the advantage to any of these metalytics is if it prevents you from buying just one gold fake, it paid for itself. Now let's talk about the PMV Investor. Note that it looks similar to a hybrid between the Pro Mini and the Pro. It has its own screen and the ability to make selections without having to have an iPad or iPod, which I personally find is an advantage. However, I do not think that it has the ability to go completely through products as well as the Pro. It also requires the use of moving this pin out of the standard position to lock the swing arm down, which I'm not a fan of, because little pieces like this tend to get lost, especially if you have young children. Also, the screen only gives you one reading. It can test all the way through some samples up to 10 millimeters thick, but it can't go past that point. Where the Pro can go through that thickness, this is smaller than the Pro, bigger than the Pro Mini, and maybe a little bigger than the original. So if you're looking for the smallest, the Pro Mini is your best option. The cheapest, the original, is your best option. But me personally, I'm not a big fan of the PMV Investor. My personal feeling is that the best of them is the Pro. So let me show you my Sigma Metalinic. As I've said so many times before, Tiger is learning how to be techy. So anything where I don't have to interact too highly works for me. The people making fakes are getting smarter. I never intended to originally get big items. I later did. So I wasn't planning on getting the bridge. Since I have gotten kilos and thought maybe I'll do that in the future. I also got 10 ounce bars that don't fit in these two holders. You can always get the three ones. This one's small, this one's large, and this one's for refiners. Only for surface, they don't do completely through. Let me show you the inner workings of the software. This comes with its own screen. You can do your measurements here. It has its calibration disc over here. I've calibrated it once. It doesn't ask for disc calibration anymore. This will give you your selection. You got your gold with pure gold and all the denominations there. That is your eagle. This shows up later. And sometimes you can find out what your product has by finding out where you get the results. In silver, pure, your pre-33s, your sterling, and your Britannia. Then you got the metals that m most people don't get a lot of, your platinum and palladium. I only have one to two grams of platinum, palladium. I have no rhodium. I have some copper. Uh, your calibrator and your rhodium by PAMP. I don't know why it's that way, but there's got to be reason. Then you got your select coins, your Krugerrands, your eagles. I told you it was going to come up later. Your Britannias of different years, Ducats, and your Silver Britannias of different years. Today's, we're going to show you an American Silver Eagle. We're going to go back to Pure. And this is 3 nines fine, so it should show up in the yellow, not in the green. Green tends to be 4 nines fine. Real simple to work. You put it in there, and it comes through. How, how do you know you're going to be down 4 nines fine? Well, it will read through capsules. That's a four nines fine. 
and it reads in the green. What if you get generic rounds? This one says it's four nines fine. Now let's see what the analyzer says. And it reads in the green. I have some fakes here. And let's show you what it does. Which one do you think is the real and the fake? And you see how it reads all over the place. Arrow to the far left, arrow to the far right. You get far left or far right. It indicates it is not real. It's a fake. Sometimes I even throw it through the little one just to see if it changes. Sometimes you'll find the change, but usually they agree. Versus the real one. So what do you do about gold? Well, you set it for gold. And we're going to use eagles in this case, and you can go with this screen or... Eagles here. Which one's real and which one's fake? Now, if you put it in the big circle, it may read right, it may not read right. Guess what that one is. So you can see it a lot better because the smaller circle one, and it still reads wrong. So that one's the fake. And this one reads right on. So that's the real. Let's go with something else. And I'm going to be introducing this subject at a later point in the series of determining fakes. Which one's real? Which one's fake? Put it s silver. And look at your options. Hey, wait a second. 40% silver. Where's your options? This is a limitation of all the Sigma Metalytics. It doesn't, if it's not on the list, it won't read it. You cannot determine fake versus not fake in 40%, 35%, or anything that's not listed on the list that we have just went through. I hope you enjoyed reviewing the Sigma Metalytics and its different types as much as I enjoyed showing it all to you. The fourth video also show you another really cool way to test your metals. Good night, everyone. Tiger Stacker, out.